Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we're looking at the midpoint and the distance within the geometry or coordinate geometry IB math studies course. So, so far you've looked at how to sketch a graph, how to plot coordinates, etc. So you should know all that so far. So we can look at a question. Um, in this case, for example, um, we look at find the distance or the exact distance um, between two points. So let's say uh, we'll have the point uh, 0, 0, which is the point of origin, and the point B, we'll say uh, 3, 4. All right, so this is a, probably a fairly easy question to start with. I'm going to uh, plot my coordinates, my origin, which is A, at the point 0, 0, and the coordinate B, which is at 3 and up 4. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sketching a, well, I'm going to do a line here connecting these points, as you can see. Okay, and I want to find this exact distance here. So hopefully you remember this from years 9 and 10. Um, basically what we've, we're doing here, we can, the old school ways, we can form a bit of a right angle triangle there, I guess. Not particularly right angle triangle, but you get my uh, drift there. And we're going to be using our Pythagoras rule. All right, so Pythagoras rule is pretty straightforward, correct? Um, so here we're just doing our, our a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm going to write that down, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, or otherwise, we could say c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Not a bad way of writing it. Okay, so if we look at that, I'm going to look at my length of the a squared. Well, that's the distance between the point 0 and 3, which means it's 3 units. Um, our b squared, which in this case, I guess, is our height, goes from the y value of 0 up to 4. That's 4. So c equals, I'll do that in a slightly uh, lighter writing, c is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, um, otherwise we know that's root 25, which means we have an exact amount of 5 units. So that's Pythagoras' theorem. Now hopefully you remember doing this as I mentioned in year 9 and 10, because you'll know that there is a particular rule that we can use to find the distance of any or between two particular points. Now if we relate this part of my formula. That's the really important part, okay? Or the c equals the square root of a squared plus b squared because that's where our distance formula actually comes from. The good thing is you are given the formula, um, but it's quite handy to know how to get to it. So how did I get this 3 squared? Well, we simply can see that the, the length between 0 and 3 is 3. Um, what happens if it would be between 1 and 3? Well, you would say it would be 2 because you subtract the two of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract my two x coordinates. In this case, it was 3 and 0. And I'm going to put squared. And then to find my b squared, we know that to be 4 squared. But we subtract 4, take away 0, or we subtract our two y values. And that there generates a little rule that sits within your formula sheet for the exact distance. Now exact distance means that if it's not a perfect square, something like maybe three units long, okay, um, well square root three should I say, then we can't write it down as a decimal so we have to leave it as a third. Often your GDC will do that for you. So that's the first formula that we want to look at. The second formula well, the second subject we want to look at is how to find the midpoint. Now, hopefully, you've done this before. Okay, so the midpoint, what does that sound like? Well, it kind of sounds like the middle point. Now, as I mentioned, this is not on your formula sheet. So you kind of have to understand how to do this. So let's take two coordinates. Let's take the same two coordinates I had before. Actually, I'm going to take it a little bit easier. I'm going to do uh, four, uh, four, two. Okay, so I'm going to plot my uh, 0, 0, my point of origin. Let me use a better color there so it's not against the white. Okay, so my point A and my coordinate 4, 2. So this means the middle point, all right, the average point. How do you find the average of two numbers? Well, you add them together and you simply divide by 2. So for example, if I want to find out what my average x coordinate is, what I'm going to do for my midpoint I'm going to simply 
plus my two x coordinates together, zero and four, and then I'm gonna divide them by two. Likewise, to find my average y coordinate, I'm gonna add my two y coordinates together, zero and two, I'm gonna divide it by two. And they're gonna be a coordinate, so I'm gonna put brackets around them. So let's have a look at this. Um, four divided by two is two, and two divided by two is one, which means if I look here really closely, one, two, up one, look at that, that worked out absolutely spot on. Okay, and we'll call that midpoint M. So your midpoint is again pretty straightforward. Now if we were to use a formula, and certainly when you're in years nine and ten you would have, the midpoint formula we said was something like this. Um, x1 plus x2 over 2, so the average of the x coordinates, y1 plus y2 over 2, okay, which is the average of my y coordinates, and that then gives me the coordinate of the middle point or the midpoint. So although you are not given the formula on the formula sheet, it's not challenging, guys. Okay, it's pretty straightforward where you simply have to find the average of the two x coordinates and the average of the two y coordinates, and we get that middle point. Now, what are questions often going to look like? Well, they're going to look at one of two ways. The first of which is going to be a pretty straightforward question. So it's something like this. Now, I know I'm not going to do the first part of this. Um, I'm only going to look at the second part. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the uh, the, the midpoint as well as the uh, the distance. All right. So we're going to look at their points here, um, PR. I oh, say PQ, PQ. All right. So a nice easy question would be like something like for B part one, calculate the distance of PQ. So we use distance equals the square root. Now we subtract our two X values, so X, 6 minus minus 2 squared, just be careful that double negative, um, plus our brackets y2 minus y1, 2 minus 6 all squared. Now it doesn't matter which order you do that in. For example, I could have said uh, minus 2 minus 6 all squared for my x coordinates and then 6 minus 2 for my y coordinates and you'll see they'll both balance out. So we get the square root of, so we get 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 squared is 64 plus 2 minus 6 is negative 4, square that is 16, we get the square root of, what's it going to be, 70, 80. All right. Um, this way will work the same way, minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8, square that we get 64, 6 minus 2 is 4 squared is 16. You can still see the answer is going to be root 80. Of course, if you've got your GDC, um, you can break this down into something like 2 root 10. Okay, 2 root 10 units. And it's always best to put that in the simplest form unless it asks for three significant figures, etc. But certainly most of your IB questions will allow you to do that in uh, three significant figs anyway. So I don't have my calculator with me. All right, the second question I would suggest to have a quick crack at is about finding the midpoint. So the midpoint for this, remember it's the average of the two x coordinates, so minus 2 plus 6. So minus 2 plus 6 on 2, and then 6 plus 2 on 2. Then I chuck that in my calculator, or I can do 6 take away 2 is 4, divided by 2 is 2, and then 6 plus 2 is 8, divided by 2 is 4, and I've got my new midpoint of 2, 4, it's in between those two coordinates. So again, um, two styles of questions that you can be given, um, okay, which uh, which is a, like a, a very straightforward question, I guess. So what's the other more challenging type of question? All right, so let's have a look at the next one. Um, we'll do this one for the midpoint, and then we might have a look at a quick one for the distance, the challenging distance formula, I guess. So this one says the coordinates of the points A are negative 4P, and the points B are 2, negative 3. So notice that we don't have a P here. It says the midpoint of the line segment has these coordinates. So in this case, we've got our two coordinates that we want to apply to our, our midpoint formula, right? So our midpoint formula, but remembering our midpoint is actually equal to Q1, but we'll come back to that. We do the two X coordinates added together, divide by two, and then the two Y coordinates added together. Now plus minus three is minus three, divide by two. Um, and that kind of works out nicer for the first one, but not for the second one. But I refer back to that question that it actually gives you the value, well, part of the value of the uh, midpoint. The midpoint equals Q comma 1. 
which means if I look at this part, that is equal to Q. So negative four plus two, well that's minus two. Minus two divided by two is one, well negative one, sorry. Q is equal to negative one. Okay, so again, minus four plus two is minus two divided by two is negative one, that's my Q value. My P minus three on two, because I can't find the value of that just yet, but we are told that the value of that Y coordinate is in fact one, and look at that, we've created a nice little equation. Um, P minus three equals two, P is equal to five. Now, of course, you could do this by sketching the graph out, but this is a much quicker way of doing things. I've got my coordinate, well, not my coordinates, I've got my value of Q and my value of P as suggested or asked by that particular question. Okay, so sometimes they might give you the entire midpoint and you have to kind of solve each of the coordinates there, or unless this type of question, they gave you a bit of both. All right, so that's, uh, I guess, a reversal type of question, a little bit more challenging. Now, I know what you're gonna say, can you do it for the distance? And absolutely you can, albeit much more challenging. So let's have a look at this question. The distance of the line segment AB is root 40. Um, if A and B are those coordinates, find the values of X. So let's go back to my distance formula. My distance formula we now know to be distance equals a square root. My two x coordinates subtracted, so x take away two all squared, plus my y coordinate seven minus three all squared. Okay, but instead of having d equals, we actually know that this has a value of root 40. Now notice how they're both square roots. I can get rid of those by squaring both sides. Okay, I'm gonna square both sides I get rid of the square roots. So I get x take away two all squared plus four squared, well that's gonna be 16, but we can do that later on, is equal to 40. Now what you can start to see is I'm gonna have a bit of an equation here. You can actually uh, expand this out if you wish to put it into your calculator. So if I did that, we do x take away, or x squared minus four x plus four plus 16, minus 40 equals zero, x squared uh, minus four x, four plus 16 is 20, 20 take away 40 is negative 20, okay, equals zero. Um, otherwise, you might want to go in and solve it this way, where you can actually subtract the uh, 16 across to make 40 subtract 16, you can then say x take away two all squared equals, well that's gonna be 24, and then you can square root this side and square root this side to get x take away two equals plus or minus the square root of 24, therefore x equals two plus or minus the square root of 24. Of course, that can be broken down uh, to a little bit nicer, uh, two root six, I believe. Okay, um, but otherwise you can put this into your calculator and you can solve that and get those values. The, the issue is going to be, um, you're going to have two different possible x solutions. You can have those because these are x coordinates. So if I write it out at the basic form, um, it'd probably be something like this. 2 plus the square, uh, what's that, 4, 6 to 24, so 2 root 6 and two minus two root six. Now, I didn't use very nice kind of uh, numbers there, so certainly if it came out this way, I'd leave it in exact form. Otherwise, I would go ahead and uh, give the actual numbers there, but hopefully if you get a question like that, very challenging as you can see, um, there'll be nice answers in the long run. Look, that's our midpoint and our distance, the two formulas you need to know. The distance you are given, the midpoint you are not, but be wary of these reversal type of questions because they are certainly the harder questions. Look guys, I hope that made some sort of sense, sense to you. Uh, give me a, an email if you need a bit more assistance with that. Otherwise, that's midpoint and distance for IB Math Studies.